know if you'll believe me or not, but I got it from a little gnome. <sighs> Uh, I must have it. I mean, apparently I gnomes are quite you? common in this land. I mean, they're Actually, living like a block away. Yeah. You'll give me the sled in trade, dude. Either King Graham is a shrewd, or King Swayze rather is a shrewd you, negotiator, or just a deal. complete bitch. I can always make another sled, but finding another marionette of disquality. Ich weiß nicht. What? So, can I have the sled? That was the worst German yeah, ever. Yeah, <laughs> It's like he had to stop Thank and look at his much. script and like I read it I'll phonetically. It's like very uh, useful. <laughs> bad voice. <laughs> it, Danke for the marionette. Shut up. Just give me the sled. Let me get the fuck out of here. Finger bang. Sorry. There. Now we never have to see the finger banging marionette toy maker ever, ever again. And I think we are done with this town altogether. Uh Thank God. All right. So. I th I still don't know what I need to do to get past this stupid snake. So, on uh, meandering, we will go. All right, so there's where we got the pie. We are... We already have our pie store, so we're done. So now... Wait, oh wait, 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 brainstorm. So, the only thing I haven't been able to do yet is to survive my encounter with these fucking innkeepers at the uh, aptly named the rutted dirt road. Shut up, just let me see the sign. The Swarthy Hog. Yes. All right. So we learned I tried hey sled. Uh, my only guess is that I can maybe use the hammer to bust open the padlock or something, but this is a com the complete conjecture on my part. So we're going to save. Uh, we're going to save right here. And we're going to give this another try and see if my cutting plan works. Oh, no, no. Cue the rat. Oh, God damn it. I have my headphones turned up on full blast, and that just pretty much knocked my left eardrum out. Good luck, friend. All right, turning the volume down a bit. Okay. <laughs> God, that was Graham irritating. Alright, so let me grab the rope. And let's see if the hammer is what we need to GTFO. Using okay. the cobbler's hammer, Graham pounds on the rusty padlock until it breaks apart. Pound that padlock. You notice the padlock didn't show up until I brought the hammer out. There are so many ways else it's possible for me to do this. All right, um, I'm pretty certain that opening this door is going to be certain death, right? Like right back out to the innkeepers, but uh, no, no, we're good. All right, uh, what do I do here? There must uh, must be something in one of these cupboards I can open. No, there we go. Inside the cupboard, Graham sees a large, juicy leg of lamb. Oh, Yoink. reaching into the open Mutton. cupboard, Graham pulls out the savory, savory leg of lamb. lamb. God. All right, so again, I'm guessing one of these doors, instant death, freedom. Instant death, freedom. Let's save and find out. Because I'm actually kind of hoping for some instant death right now, because King Swayze needs a lesson. There he is. Hi, guys. We got to plan our next job, you guys. <laughs> hey, how did you get out of the cellar? What? Nothing, sir. This time, rub them out for good. For good. That wasn't a very smart move. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. I couldn't help myself. All right, so we'll take the door to Finding freedom this time. the door locked, Graham unlocks it before going outside. Thank you, Mr. Narrator. So... Uh, it's just, this game is full of just such, so many bad ideas. Um, Graham can okay, see an can unbreakable I go this? padlock on the barn door. Oh, how does he know it's unbreakable just by looking at it? I just busted one right the fuck open with my cobbler's hammer. Take a hammer to it, dude. It's unbreakable. Why even have a barn there if you're not allowed to go in there and, and poke around for a little bit? I'm getting annoyed already. I've only been playing this game for like 10 minutes. Um... 
I can think of nothing else to do, so I'm going to check to see if there's anything in my inventory at the moment that is able to uh, dissuade the poisonous snake away uh, from its present locale. All right, so without getting too close, because I know the snake will pretty much leap six feet and attach itself to my larynx. Uh, I'm going to save and then just try everything I have in my inventory. Does it want my pie? <gasps> that won't convince the snake to leave. That won't convince the snake to leave. Can I play my harp for it? That won't, won't convince, convince the, the snake, snake to, to leave. leave. No. Can I use the leg of lamb on it? That won't convince, convince the, the snake, snake to, to leave. leave. No. Uh, I'm guessing rope's going to be useless. Can I bash its head in? That won't, won't convince, convince the, the snake, snake to, to leave. leave. No. No, it's got kind of a good beat to it. Um, a sled. No, I've already tried my wand on it. Tambourine. What? Be gone, you slithery varmint. Scat! Be gone, you slithering varmint! I do not believe out of all the things I could have done to this snake, I mean, I could have lassoed it, I could have bashed it, I could have put it to sleep with a heart. No, I, I play my tambourine and it skitters off like a frightened rabbit. <sighs> all right, well, let's let's proceed uh, this way. I think... I, I hope we got everything we have because I think we've reached a point of no return. No, we're good. A few hours later... Yes, okay, spare me nothing. Graham begins to shiver at the sudden drop in temperature. He's been up here for hours. Why is he just now getting... All right, so we got to find some way to keep warm, I guess. Let's, let's go up here. <laughs> it's funny to watch him waddle and suffer. All right, so looks like this branch is pretty obvious. The remains of an old tree poke out of the mountainside near an upper ledge. All right, so let's rope that son of a bitch. Uh-uh. Huh? Graham? Well, Graham, how does it feel to be a popsicle? <laughs> okay. Apparently there's cold and then there's sub-zero cold. All right, well, I'm glad I saved anyway. Um, all right, so let's <coughs> skitter this slithery varmin out of here. And that's the best sound effect they have gone, for a tambourine. You slithery varmin. Scat. Slithery varmin. <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right, so. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I have a cloak. That'll keep me warm, I, I imagine. Uh, come on, Graham. The game is awful at knowing. Exactly what direction? A few which hours go. later. So let's don my Graham cloak. dons his warm cloak for protection against the freezing mountain air. Freezing mountain air. You see, he even used my terminology. Don my cloak. Just out of curiosity, does Cedric have anything interesting to say? Ooh, I've never been here before, but I think this is the way over the mountains. Seagulls are in the mountains. I'm guessing your guess is correct. Ooh. Uh very wise, Cedric. We're up in the mountains, saying, like, this is probably the way through the mountains. All right, I'm... I died before my plan came to any kind of fruition, but I'm still guessing that uh, the rope is the way... Yep, here we go. So let's uh, skitter on up the rope. Oh, be careful, Graham. Uh-oh. This is not gonna... All right, I was wrong. Thanks for playing King's Quest Five. Oh, what? No smarmy answer? Come on, narrator. You've been be... You've been... Let's try it again. God! You have a kind face. Because, okay, there you are. Ich weiß 